Oh yes, we are back uh, with uh, usual demystification and simplification of biology. Our learning today focuses on just a very simple thing. We have this vertebra as part of our vertebral column. In our previous sessions, uh, we have focused on identifying the unique features of each of the bones that make up our vertebral column, the cervical, and now the lumbar or lumbar, as someone used to tell me. What are some of the features that make up a vertebra? If we can remind ourselves, we have the centrum, which is the rigid part, the portion this that is uh, for support. We have the projections on the sides, that is on the lateral side, sides, which are the transverse processes. We have this projection that is on the opposite side of our centrum, and this is the neurospine. The neurospine is usually the dorsal side, by the way, facing this. And then we have the neural canal that is uh, for the passage of the neural spine. <clears throat> In this lumbar vertebra, what are the unique features? Key, wide and long transverse processes wide and long transverse processes that increases the surface area for attachment of your abdominal muscles. Besides, this lumbar vertebra also has broad and long neurospine. Broad and long neurospine which is for increasing the surface area for attachment of back muscles attachment of back muscles because we said the neurospine is usually on the dorsal it faces the dorsal side the back side those are the two universal unique distinguishing features of the lumbar vertebra present in typical lumbar vertebra from any mammal long and trans long and broad transverse processes to increase the surface area for attachment of muscles abdominal muscles long and broad neurospine to increase the surface area for attachment of the dorsal muscles, the back muscles. Some lumbar vertebrae could also be having extra projections that are not present in this, hyperpophysis, anapophysis, depending on the mammal, and all those projections are extra projections providing large service area or increased service area of attachment of muscles. But remember, the two unique and universal. Long and broad transverse processes increase the surface area of attachment of abdominal muscles. Broad and long neurospine increases the surface area of attachment of the back muscles. For this lumbar vertebra, these are the post zygapophysis. As remember, as we said, post zygapophysis facing downwards and outwards. These are the pre zygapophysis. Remember, as we said, pre zygapophysis facing upwards and inwards. Very nice session. Looking forward to see you in our next session where we demystify and simplify more features of other vertebra, thoracic vertebrae and the sacral vertebrae. Remember always to subscribe to our online platform, The Ocean of Knowledge, Top Notch TV. Until then, see you, your favorite living organism, Sabanant. Thank you.